They say no map is without sin. And that's... Uh... Oh shit, I think I forgot. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a special episode of Total Map Reviews. Now why a special episode of Total Map Reviews, you may ask? There has only ever been one episode, and I'm already throwing this special in. Well, you know, with my shitty once per year upload schedule, Bruh. God knows if I'll ever continue this series. So I just thought, you know, with this new tier list trend on YouTube, I might as well hop on the bandwagon and list every single unturned map into a nice S to F top. To have, in a way, by the end of this whole thing, reviewed every map in like 5 seconds. I encourage you after this video to tell me whether or not you agree with my list, although, to be honest, you probably agree because my opinions are the best. Especially when it comes to unturned maps, I am kind of a god. Now, there are a few rules before I start. Uh, first off, no Dev Test map, Dev Test 1, Dev Test 2, Dev Test 3, even though Alpha Valley is technically Dev Test 1, but it's Arena. It got revamped, okay? So, I guess Dev Test 1 is okay. And on top of that, no Christmas, Halloween, or Space, or any of that sort, versions of like normal maps like PI or Russia. And also, no, not the Destruction map. If you actually thought I would cover the Destruction map here, you are probably insane. But either way, Let's commence. So the first map in our list is Alpha Valley. Now, as I've said earlier, it's a really old map. It's uh, It was actually the first arena map that was ever released, alongside uh, Monolith, I guess. But I hate this map because whenever you spawn, you either spawn in a field or next to a house, and then you try to find the nearest weapon spawns, but oh, I guess... I guess they've already been taken by someone else, so you're just gonna die because, you know, tough luck, you idiot. So, uh, yeah, if you showed me this map and told me this was gonna be Arena forever, I, I probably would have never touched this, this goddamn game mode. Uh, it's gonna go in the, in the D tier. Now, PI, PI is a classic, it's a true classic, it's a remake of the old PI from 2.0, obviously. Yeah, the much beloved PI from 2.0. Everyone, everyone loved that mainly because it was the only map you could play. But here it's kind of just garbage. All you really do is uh, run around in circles, and you know, eventually I guess go go to the prison every once in a while. Either way, uh, when Washington came out, Nelson fucked this map up because he removed all the military spawns. So it was not quite a PVP map unless you play on a kit server, but kit servers are garbage. It's not quite a survival map neither, because he didn't really work on that. He didn't really make it work, it's just sort of a sandbox mess. So for that, uh, PI also in the D tier. Canyon Arena. Canyon fucking Arena. You know, it's a Danaby 2 map, so of course it's good. It has cowboys, so of course it's good. I am an NPC on this map. So it's fucking brilliant. S tier. France. I, uh... My opinion on France is kinda weird. Because, and hear me out on this one, I feel like they did everything perfectly. But it's too perfect, it's too... It's too... It's not out of the norm enough. I mean, they added a cool flamethrower and a cool boat. I suppose. And some, you know, laser guns. You know, it's a, it's a really good map, but it's just... It's, it's sort of bland, but compared to like fucking Belgium or Ireland, it's it's a it's a great map because at least the things that it does right, it does right. So I'm gonna do France justice and put it up in the B tier. Now with Germany, it's a it's a whole different story. I feel like the community is greatly you know split when it comes to this one. Some think it's a it's a masterpiece. Others think Nelson probably lost his mind. But what I think about this map is that it's kind of, you know, it's average, it's sort of bland, and, you know, it's being dragged down by the fact that the grass looks like literal shit. So, um, Germany, I'm really sorry. Like, you have some tall mountains, I guess, but you're just average. That's it. Hawaii is a really underrated map. 
I really love Hawaii. Like, whenever you play Hawaii with like at least medium settings, it feels like you're playing fucking Far Cry or something. And the whole story element, the whole underground part, it's brilliant. Now, if, if it weren't so laggy, and if it didn't crash people's games that much, perhaps it would score higher. But you know what? This is proof of what mods too much can make when they're not being a bunch of idiots. So, you know, Hawaii is A tier. Monolith. You know, alongside Alpha Valley, like I've stated, it was the first arena map. But Monolith was a lot better because, you know, first off, much like BI, it's just a remake of the old arena map from 2.0. And, um, a lot of people like this, you know, King of the Hill. The map always closes in in the middle sort of, sort of deal. It's like, even though there's also a bit of random chance involved here, it's not quite as bad as Alpha Valley. You get more action, and people people love that, and I love that. Although, my experience with Monolith is somewhat special because I made my first video, like half of it was just me playing Monolith, it was just a really painful and... It was, it was a horrible PvP montage. Uh, Monolith is going to go in the, in the C tier. A paintball arena, <laughs> the first surprise contender on this list. You know, it may come as a surprise, but I actually really like paintball arena. It's it's something unique. That's what you want to see from an unturned map. Something unique, right? Like this came out, I think, in Unturned's second anniversary, alongside uh, Party Hats. You know, back then the game was actually being updated, and you know. And also kind of cared about it a little bit more, but it, I don't really know what else to say about this map. It's such a simple concept. You just shoot, you know, paintball guns. Uh, the one thing I'm gonna say about it is... No, I have nothing bad to say about it. It's genuinely gonna go in the A tier. Now, Russia, come on. This is probably gonna be no surprise, but I absolutely adore this map for the simple reason that it, it's the perfect map to learn to play on turn on. It has everything. It says in the description it's recommended for experienced survivors, but no, it's for beginner survivors who want to become experienced. Some of my fondest memories with this game, whether from when I was still trying to get better at it, or when I was already well accustomed to its mechanics, they were all on Russia. A lot of people kiss this map's ass, but for good reason. Russia is a godlike map, but it's not quite S tier. It's just A. Now the tutorial, well, you, you you know what, guys? You can't play the game without playing the tutorial first. Obviously, you can't play the game without playing this map, and that makes it, you know, top tier. Now Washington, I feel like people just love this map way too much, but I can kind of see why. Because it's a medium map, it allows for, you know, great PvP situations, but it has a lot of landmass. A lot more than PI, so you can really base up. And so many gun spawns on this map. It's, I think it's supposed to be like an arena without the zone closing it, right? It's, it's timeless. It was one of the first maps. Washington is A tier. Yukon is the perfect example of a survival map. Because you have to survive on it. You can't just sit in one place. No, you're gonna freeze your balls off. So, you have to be quick. You have to know some strategy in order to play Yukon. Though, Nelson made a few questionable changes. I think he revamped temperature like a third time or a second time. And he made it so that blizzards wouldn't be permanent anymore, which had one main downside. When it was designed back in 2015, you weren't supposed to see anything further than 50 meters ahead of you. So, uh, a lot of the icy lakes, you know, they don't render in properly, it's just giant holes in the ground. But that doesn't stop Yukon from being, you know, just a great map. S tier. But Canada is our, uh, an another surprise contender here. Because, well, if you didn't include Death Test, why the hell include this? You know, you ever wonder what Unturn would be like if Canada were finished? It was so good, like, you had water, and you have snow, and you have grass all in one map, and you had this cool giant farm area which was never done ever after an unturn, and you know, it's, why? So many good concepts never really used, but it was never finished, so I suppose Canada fits nicely in the, in the B tier. Athens Arena, the second map in the Danaby 2 trilogy, and quite possibly the best meme that Unturned has ever put out there. 
please go and buy the Athens Arena bundle. It's not quite S, it's not quite Canyon Arena, but it's good. It's really good. Belgium, I really don't like this map. You'll notice that most of the maps seem to be in the higher categories here. No, Belgium is garbage. It steals so many ideas, locations from Russia. It literally just looks like a PI large. This is, this, it's honestly outrageous how bad this map is, right? In, in fact, look at this. I'm just gonna use the rotate tool here real quick. Look at this. It's literally just Russia, but it's upside down. This map is a disgrace. Alright, the NPCs can speak English properly, I'm pretty sure, unless they fix that, but I haven't played in a while because it's so garbage. Belgium fits nicely in the F tier. And that's it. Please never, ever bother me again. Moncarina, the first installment of the Danube 2 saga. I'm not gonna lie, it's my least favorite, but he was just starting off with this whole curated content thing, so... Mm, you know, it goes in the C tier, just for, just for nostalgia. Now, Carpet, I've talked about this map. I hate it. I hate it more than anything in this world. But you know what? No, I actually kind of love it. It's such a good concept that if the developers were not absolutely incompetent, it could have been up here in the S tier with Yukon. But no. No, they just have to screw it up. It's really a guilty pleasure of mine. But you know what? I can't afford to score it any lower than C. Carpet, I, I really, I actually really love this map. Serpus. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. If there was any map that the F tier were specifically designed for, it would be Krypus. Because I hate this map, it's just Greece media. It's, it's horrible. Now speaking of Greece, another map that the community is kind of in between with, you know, some say it's good, some say it's bad, I like it. I may be completely biased because, as a matter of fact, I have been to Greece like seven times in real life. It's just a lovely country. And it doesn't really look that bad in game neither. Although there are people who really don't like the lighting. Which is kind of a subjective thing, I suppose. On the other hand, it had one of the bumpiest releases of any unturned map ever. Which really didn't do it any good. It had a lot of the NPCs, but it messed up a lot. So, C tier, I suppose. And last, but not least, fucking Ireland. Does anyone even remember that Ireland existed? I didn't mention it with Cyprus, but like, if you asked your average unturned player, hey, what do you think about Ireland nowadays? They will probably tell you something along the lines of, THE FUCK YOU SAY TO ME- Does anyone actually remember this map? Does anyone have any bad or good memories with this map? I don't. It just passed by in an instant. I remember it had old trees, which I didn't really like. And I remember that it had some really ugly and chunky models. Not to mention, the map is basically unplayable right now because of the latest Unity update. It should have been fixed by now, so it really wouldn't surprise me if they just lost the fucking files. Either way, this is... Ireland, I'm not going to give you any satisfaction. You would be the worst map in the world if I remembered anything about you, so I guess the E tier is just for you. And I think... This is just about it. This is the official Serati Unleashed License Unturned Map tier list. Yeah, you know, I actually, I think, uh... Yeah, there we go.